Hey guys and gals, Jodas95 here. So I am back to the review and take a look at the Transformers Generations Deluxe Class Tank Core. Now, for most of you who know who is Tank Core is, he was from Beast Machines. I'm going to look at a quick fact story. Tank Core is one of the Vehicon General and long, long story short, is a very twist is Rhinox who were kidnapped by Nantron and transfer the body since then then later the towards the end of season one he dies and in the season one he actually sacrifices it and stop the doomsday machine device and ends up being sparked shot down but he was also appears in transformers the idw comics was actually the cameo where the scene starscream finds his body where he meets tankor and that's pretty much it which, now this thing here comes with a comic. Unfortunately, I couldn't find it. I'm not going to show it. And also, I forgot to mention, I did not show it a package. I just threw it away and accidentally. I threw away the package. So, and there was a bio card, but I'm not going to show the read of bios. So, yeah. So, let's take a look at Tank Core. This version is based on a Cybertronian tank. It has a little detail. It has a robot's head. That's a little nice little link. He has a little Viacon logo. Oh, that was seen. And he has a Viacon symbol. It has a print on it. It does have little rolls. He has a little only a surgery. He has a missiles. And has a gimmick. You fire and it shows missiles. Comes a little missiles. Only has one missile. Oops. Let's get it back together. That's my only biggest. It's also other one. He has removable clips, cannons. So put it back on this. Has a has a little haul of his. Now the transform for tank core is pretty much surprisingly easy. First to do, let's unpeg his the legs. First to do, let's. And pull this little arms. Unpack it as an arm collapse. There's a tinker's arm. We'll rotate around this. Connect this. Also, he has a little peg holes on this. See the peg holes? And that's sort of rotating around. Also, let's sort of rotate the back of the piece. So there you have Tank Core in his robot mode. Now this robot mode is really nice. He looks really accurate. It looks based on true accurate. It was from the comic book. <coughs> Plus the IDW's the comics. Plus the Beast Machines and shows. Now for articulation for Tank Core, he does have heads on swivel head. It can't rotate. It can't rotate head left right. It can't rotate because hit about shoulder pack the colors. It's arms goes up and down, goes in and out that much. Because hit about shoulder pads. He does have a little it's a little license mill. Then an elbow. Then a double elbow. It does have a cool little feature, it has a claw moves. Also it has a forearm rotate. And fortunately there's no waist articulation. It's like his horse and back goes in and out. And thigh sole. Then a knee and it seems force of that because of my transformations. And I know in the shows he looks like he actually walks. But at this one he does have wheels move. Kind of like gun tank. He does not have foot. It's there. It's just walk. Well, so that's a real cool feature of that case. Now he doesn't come under surgery, instead comes with missiles. Now for size comparison size comparison here is next to Bullaby. <laughs> He's all same size. 
very large. <laughs> yeah, he's a really size one. So yeah, there's my review of the Transformers Generation of Tank Corps. It's a nice look, cool looking figure. I mean, if you're a fan of the, if you're a fan of the Transformers, of uh, the Beast Machines characters. So I hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment with your thoughts. I hope you next video. So thanks for watching. Bye.